Now, as I was watching, I watched it on YouTube, right? So now, as I'm watching this Drink Champs interview, you know, on the bottom, you can see, like, all your suggested shit or whatever, so... Before the video, before before I was even done watching this video, I could see uh, Nori called into the Breakfast Club to apologize. Right? I didn't watch. I didn't like stop watching the interview to go watch that shit. I kept watching the interview. I don't think Nori had, had anything to apologize for. You know what I'm saying? Uh, in this interview, Kanye said some wild shit about Puffy, and Puffy still let that shit fly on Revolt. Because free speech. That's what he said. We're going to support free speech. You know? Um, but then you wake up and Nori's calling Hot 97. He's calling Power 105. He's up there. Uh, just like, oh, uh, basically he's he's covering his own ass. You know what I mean? So my question is, who got to Nori, man? Who got to Super Thug, man? Who made Super Thug uh, tuck his tail between his legs and, and separate himself like that, man? Which you have to, you know what I'm saying? I, I will say this though, like up until yesterday, to me in my mind, Nori was a rapper with a podcast who would be like, "Yo, I'm a journalist," like, and it was almost like a joke. But now it's like, "Nah, you you a journalist now, dog? Like, you <laughs> you picked you picked your side." Which I can't even hate on it because if if they came to you and took away all your shit and took away your platform and fucked you. Kanye ain't gonna fucking and ain't gonna lift you up. Ain't nobody gonna watch out for you like you gonna watch out for you. And like you said, Con Kanye loose cannon. He'd be going everywhere with it. Blah 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 blah. But is it enough to take him off this shit? I don't know, man. Like I, I, I honestly, the answer is no. No, it's not. You you got motherfuckers. You could jihadists chopping off heads on the internet. And you can't have this motherfucker. In the interview, Kanye said about what's being pushed and promoted in music, you know? And he basically said that, uh, fuck bitches, kill, kill niggas. Fuck bitches, kill niggas. That, that, and he just kept repeating it. And then he said, go to at the Apple chart and go to the rap. And I bet you that that content is in the first top three. He ain't wrong. You know what I'm saying? They push drill music. We already know what drill music is doing to the community, but they push that shit, right? They push, they push uh, Cardi B and fucking Lotto and everything, fucking being hoes, making ho, being being a hoe, Meg the Stallion. Oh, be a big hoe. Fuck these dudes. You know what I'm saying? Sell your pussy. That's basically what they they're saying. They might say it cool, but they're basically saying trade your pussy for material shit. You know what I'm saying? City girls, you know what I'm saying? Like, there is so much bullshit that it's like, if you really gave a fuck, you would just turn the internet off, like, completely. Like, fuck this shit. Like, fucking, it, uh, it's crazy. It's very hypocritical and it's very strange. But I just wanted to say that, uh, I did, I, lo I lost a little bit of respect for Nori. I would have respected it more if Nori would have held his nuts and been like, yo, I'm sorry to anybody that, that felt some type of way, but. But, like Nori said, this isn't political champs. This is drink champs. Ye is on there, and Ye gonna say what Ye gonna say, and we gonna let it go because it's drink champs. And Nori did push back. EFN did push back. What did y'all want him to do? Fucking flip the table and be like, Nah, bro. You know what I mean? Steve Rifkin was in the building. Steve Rifkin was exactly what he was talking about. Like, uh, you know what? Hold on. We gon' we gon' start this shit over.